Hi, I'm Delana from DelanaSimmons.com and today I want to walk you through how to connect your Squarespace site and your ConvertKit account. Now you can embed a a ConvertKit form onto your Squarespace website, and that's awesome. But if you want to use the Squarespace form, there's a little bit more connection, connection that has to happen in between the two. So I want to walk you through how to do that. And that is super great if you want to use the ConvertKit, I mean the Squarespace um, cover pages, because they don't allow you to embed third-party forms. So this will let you link your ConvertKit to that um, button that you can put on your cover page. That way you can use that and still send your leads over to ConvertKit. So let's get started. First, I want to remind you to click subscribe so you don't miss any new videos that come at you each week with different tech tips and tricks. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do when we're going to um, connect a form on Squarespace to ConvertKit is add a form to our page. So I'm just going to work with my homepage here and add a form down here to the bottom. So I've scrolled down here to the bottom, now I want to edit this section and add a form block. So I'm going to click down here to add a new block and we're going to add a form. It's going to open up the edit window over here on the right and we're just going to call this a test form. Now because we need, we're sending information to ConvertKit we need the fields to match the information that ConvertKit takes. So we're going to um, delete the message, the subject, and the name because this name field We'll put a first name and a last name box on your form. ConvertKit only takes first name by default. So we need to change this to just the first name. So we're going to delete this, confirm it, add a new field. We'll add it as a text field and call it first name. You can make it required. And then we'll save that. And then I just like to have the first name first, so we'll swap those around and click apply. Now we've got a little simple form here, um, first name, email. Now we're going to go back into edit, it's actually just going to open that same box up. And what we need to do now to connect it with ConvertKit is tell Squarespace where to send the information that comes into this form. So we're going to come over here to storage. And basically we're going to need to send it to Zapier. The direct connection to Zapier in Squarespace is a premium feature for Zapier, which means that you need to have a paid subscription with them in order to use this connection. So I'm going to show you today a different way to connect this. We're using Google Drive. Um, where with this way you won't have to have a paid account with um, Zapier if you don't want to use Zapier however you want to say it. So we're going to start now by connecting Google Drive. It pops up another window here where you'll want to connect the account you want to use. And you'll just need to give permission. Okay, and now once that's connected, what you'll want to do is create a spreadsheet. Um, you do not need to go to your Google Drive account to do this. All you need to do is type the name of your spreadsheet here in this box. So we will call this test form spreadsheet. Okay, then just click apply. And that's all you need to do on this side for now. Now before we start setting everything up in Zapier, I want to send some test information to our spreadsheet. This way when we test the spreadsheet and everything, we there's some data in there to pull in. So I'm just gonna fill this out real quick with a name and email address and we'll click submit. And that's all we need to happen on this right now. I just wanna make sure that there's some information in there for Zapier to pull from whenever it um, tests our spreadsheet. So now we're going to come over here and create a new zap. Okay, and so the trigger for this is going to be the Google spreadsheet. It's going to be the first thing that's going to look for is a new spreadsheet row. So we're going to choose that as our trigger and then we'll click save and continue. And it's going to test um, your Google Drive account. If you have one connected already, it will pull it up and let you test it. If you do not have one connected already, you can click connect an account and do that here. So we'll click save and continue. And this is where we're going to tell it what spreadsheet to look at. 
So just click the drop down arrow over here and it'll pull up all the spreadsheets in your account. So we're just gonna click the test form spreadsheet, the one that we created earlier. And now we're gonna pull the worksheet, which it's just gonna be sheet one. Um, if you're creating a brand new spreadsheet, it'll, it'll be sheet one. It would only be something different if you've got a spreadsheet already that has um, different sheets in it. So we're just gonna select sheet one here and continue. On this next screen, it's just gonna show you the sample data that it pulled in when you chose the spreadsheet in the sheet. So you can see here, it pulled in the name and email address that I entered in on the website in the form. So we'll click continue. Okay, so now we need to add an action step. So this is the part where we're gonna add everything to ConvertKit. So I'm actually just gonna click this add an action step and then you'll just want to search through the apps and find convert kit okay now it's going to ask us what we want to do with our subscriber information and in this case we want to add subscriber to a form I'll click save and continue you'll have to connect your account And to connect to your account, you'll just need the secret API key from your ConvertKit account, which you can find on your account settings page. So we've already added that here. We'll test it. It's successful. We'll hit um, save and continue. And now we'll have to choose the form that we want it to go to. So I've got a bunch of forms in here, but we'll just go with one that I don't really use, which is this one. I think I was just playing with it. So we'll do that. And then the email this is where you'll just map the fields so this is you're basically just telling zapier where do you want the information to go so for email and um convert kit you want to send them the email information from your spreadsheet so we'll click email there and then this would just be for the first name um if you have a sequence or anything often and you can do that um these are two custom fields that I have set up in my ConvertKit account, but I'm not bringing any of that information over from the spreadsheet, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, you may not even have these fields in yours if they're not on your ConvertKit account, so you might not even see that. So just we're just gonna skip right over that for now and click continue. And now we're gonna, it's asking for some sample data. So this is the information from the form. We'll send the test to convert kit. It was successful. So now let's just take a look in convert kit and you can see that for the Harrison landing page, it added my email address here today. So I know that this is the one that we just did. So that's working successfully. So now what will happen is if you want to click finish, make sure that you turn on your zap. and add a name for it. So we'll just do test Squarespace to convert kit form and save that. And then you can come over to your dashboard anytime that you wanna see it, see if it's working, check on it, anything that you need to do. But now what will happen is when somebody fills out that form that's on your Squarespace page, it will send the subscriber info into convert kit. And based on your automations and rules that you have set up in ConvertKit, you can trigger sequences and automations. Even though they're not using, actually using a ConvertKit form, they're using the Squarespace form, it will trigger everything in ConvertKit exactly the same way. I love helping my clients with their ConvertKit account and making sure that everything is working together the way it's supposed to. So I offer free conversations to women who are ready to take this next step in their business. So if that sounds like you, make sure you apply below so we can get on the phone. And make sure to follow me over on Instagram and Facebook where I share tips and tricks all the time. I'll see you there.